to another video and today we are just going to be roaming around in this Aventador. No reason, we're just going to be roaming around. As you can see on the PS4 version, I don't have any of the map unlocked. So, it's probably best we do that. Um, I've been mainly playing the PC version, but you, as you guys know, the PC version is basically unplayable for me now for some reason. So, we're just going to be roaming around in my Aventador. I might go into the Huayra, I don't really know. Um, but we're just going to be roaming around, seeing what the world has to offer, and I'm just going to be talking a bit about the crew. Because, um, to be honest, I think I was a bit disappointed by the game. Um, it was a common theme, really, with um, last year's games, you know. After maybe a couple weeks, everyone just kind of got bored um, of, of games, and I think this is another one. I'm really starting to appreciate Horizon and what Horizon's done in its own, in, in its own respect. Um, I think Horizon was one of the games where... I dropped it for a while, I got bored for a while, and then I came back and just realised how fun drifting was. Like, just going around that game and drifting is so fun. But on the crew, I don't know, I don't feel like everything's always different in you, you know what I mean? In the Horizon, I know the map, I know where I'm going, I know the routes, but on the crew I have no clue where I'm going, and everywhere just kind of feels a bit, you know, similar. Like, these little kind of grey paths, like these little brown paths you can see, they are scattered everywhere around the crew, you know, the, the short car list leaves me to be desired. Um, and overall there's just a lot of things which don't satisfy me as say as much as Most Wanted 2005 did or maybe as, you know, Horizon did in some areas, you know, hands down this game is better in Horizon's um, in like map, so to say, you know, even though the map in this game does feel a bit kind of repetitive in a way because obviously you know, the, the actual building textures and the ground textures are all kind of similar. Um, it is it is genuinely a new place every single time. Like, you go to a new place and the, every single time you go in. Like, the, the actual map itself is huge. Absolutely huge. Um, but, you know, it kind of has its own pros and cons. I think the game overall, I've got slightly bored of it. That's why you've seen an influx in a Horizon video recently. It's I'm getting slightly bored of the crew. Like, I, when I don't, like... If I don't want to play a game, I simply won't play it. Um, and I think the crew's got to the point where it's not—I I don't enjoy. I, it's not—it's not like I don't enjoy it. I'm just getting a bit worn out on driving the same roads, doing the same PvP races. I know that they are adding elimination races, so like lap knockout races, back, which is going to be cool as fuck because we haven't seen that in a game in ages. But. I don't know, I was expecting, when, when the game was first announced, I was expecting a Most Wanted 2005 style game, um, you know, where it had like hundreds of cars, like maybe even thousands of cars, and it's not exactly that far-fetched considering, you know, a lot of other games haven't got, a, like I'm pretty sure Real Racing 3 on mobile has more, more cars in this game. So I was expecting like a couple hundred cars, uh, an open world that was huge, customization that was extensive to, you know, spinners, to neons, to huge ass spoilers to, you know, everything in between, I was expecting, I don't know, what else was I expecting, I was just expecting some Japanese cars, you know, I was expecting, um, a, a, an, a, like a good looking game, now the game does look good, but it doesn't, it doesn't compete with, say, Horizon or Project Cars in my opinion, I think it, it's a good looking game, but, the, you know, like, some of this traffic cars don't even have shadows, like, that's pretty poor. I was expecting competitive matchmaking, I was expecting, you know, you know, thrilling cop chases. Like, the cop chases are not thrilling at all, they're just annoying. If you get caught by the police, you don't, there is no real, you know, kind of fine for it. Okay, you get, you get fined like 2,000 credits, but that's really about it. Like, it's nothing huge. I will say, you know, the game is truly amazing. Um, like, in terms of what it's done, like, the scale of the map is huge. Um, the customization is, you know, it, it's all right. You know, I mean, I wouldn't say it's good. It's, it's as good as Horizon, but it, it's all right. Like, it's nothing amazing. Um, I, I, I like how you, you've got the different classes and whatnot, but it feels more like an MMO than an actual racing game. You know, like it doesn't feel like a race. Like it doesn't feel like I have. Ex ex like it, when I when this game was first announced, it, it almost felt like they were marketing it. At the customization crowd, you know, you're gonna be able to do this in this particular car. But if I want to make this this event door like front wheel drive with a huge spoiler on the back and a diffuser on the front, I simply can't do it. And that's what the game was originally marketed to be. It was marketed to be this amazing game where you could put huge diffusers on and you could make the car what you wanted. 
And to be honest, you can't really make cars what you want. I feel in Horizon, you can make these custom liveries and you can make, say, I don't know, um, a Falcon Ford GT, you know, and then you can add, say, a huge spoiler or a, 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 a custom front splitter, and, and then you can make it into a, a fucking, uh, I don't know, it's a Ford GT front wheel drive, I don't know, no, rear wheel drive. I think the front Ford GT is rear wheel drive. So if you, if you wanted to, let's just say you, you, you wanted to make it front wheel drive, you could do that. So you would have your, you know, your Falcon 4 GT that was front wheel drive. You know, you could put a fucking red, I don't know, I don't know. Like you could put like a two JZ engine in there if you wanted to. Like you could do whatever you wanted in or in, in Forza. Now that's obviously not the case. Like you can't do some of those options, but you you kind of get the gist of things. You get my my you know my point. In this game, it doesn't feel like I have that amount of freedom and customization. Sure the, sure, the world's huge, but it feels like there's repetitive textures and it feels like the world's basically the same. Those fences, you see them everywhere. The fences don't change in the whole of the US. That, that, that's not the case. You know, the fences do change in the whole of the US. You know, these trees, they come up in Miami. I'm pretty, oh God. I'm pretty sure this, these trees pop up in Miami and, um, you know, like further on the west coast. And, you know, these power lines, they always pop up. It, it feels very repetitive in that sense. You know, the game overall, it's great, like, there's so many things you can do, you know, in terms of its open world and its levelling up system, but it doesn't feel like a true racing game. It doesn't feel like the Need for Speed Underground 3 that should have been, um, which is what many people were expecting it to be. They were expecting it to be that Need for Speed game we never had. And personally for me, it doesn't feel like that. that that's kind of why I'm taking a break. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy this game. Um, I'll sit down every now and then and I'll, and I'll just cruise. But... I can't let, I can't lie to you guys and say I'm not disappointed by the overall product. Um, I mean, overall, last year was a tough year for gaming in general. Like the games last year were not very good. You know, a lot of things didn't work on launch. Some things were broken on launch. The crew had a quite a good launch, to be fair. Like in all fairness, like the launch was near flawless, um, and that's something I will grant it for. But. I can't lie to the guys at Ivory Tower and said you, you done fucked up with some of the features in this game. I mean, like, I think how many cars is in the game? Like 40, 50? That, that's a joke. Like, like I said, real racing, CSR racing. I'm pretty sure has more than that. And those are mobile games, you know. This is a full console release, and you're only giving us 40 cars. Like, I'm pretty sure Underground 2 had more than that, you know. Like, very disappointed in terms of car choice. Um, and then the actual car choice they do have is very limited. You know, you, you, you have your, your hyper cars, your super cars, but you don't have any tuners. You know, you don't have any supers or uh, S12s or S13s, S4, S15, etc., etc. You know, it, it, the, the actual choice is very disappointing. You know, you don't have your um, 240Z. You don't have your R32. It's very limited you know, in terms of car choice. What's the point in having a huge open world when you only have limited cars to explore it? That's how I see it. Um, I think the game was announced too early, and I think Ubisoft generally um, probably forced the developers to release this, you know, when, when they didn't want to release it. They probably didn't want to release the game. You know, they probably thought, oh, we, we've got a few more things we want to do, can we just have a bit more time, you know, you gave us this amount of time, can we please just have a, a, a maybe a year more so we can get some more cars in there, we can do this, we can do that. Because I don't believe licensing was the issue, you know, when you've got new speed no limits here with a car choice as like it has, like it's got an amazing car choice, it has a, you know, a couple of skylines, it has the, I think it's the E32, I believe, the M3, it's got an amazing car choice, you know, with tuners, muscle cars alike. I don't believe licensing was the problem, I think it was a lack of time and development, like many other games. I think the main focus for the game, if you are, if you, like, if you are going to buy this game nowadays and you haven't already got it, its main focus would be the open world, and that would be about it for me. Um, the physics aren't the greatest, um, the customization isn't the greatest, the car choice isn't the greatest. Overall, I wouldn't buy this game for its car choice and for its, you know, its mad vinyl editor and whatnot. Like, I would buy, I would, I would go more to Forza for that kind of stuff. This game is for its open world. That's why I would, I would buy the crew. And I'm not gonna lie, they, they, they did mess up um, in some areas. They, they, they really could have done better. It's, it's no doubt an amazing game. I'm definitely gonna be playing it in the future. But I think I'm just gonna give it a bit of a break. Um, like, if you overplay anything, you'll find out you, you're just gonna get bored of it. So, I guess this is me just taking a bit of a break from the crew. 
and just, I guess, exploring new ventures, seeing what, you know, other games have to offer. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit the like, subscribe. Uh, if you didn't agree with some of my ideas, make sure to let me know down in the comments down below. If you didn't like the video, dislike and like where appropriate, and I shall see you later. Peace.